Welcome back and welcome to Women in Sports. I bet you all can guess what we're starting off with today. The New York Liberty are WNBA champions for the first time ever. This was the team's sixth time making it to the finals, but only the first time in their 28-year history the Liberty have come out on top. And this will go down as one of the most competitive finals series ever, going all the way to Game 5 and filled with comebacks, shocks, and plenty of buzzer beaters. In the end, it was John Quell Jones who earned the finals MVP crown, but notably, Brianna Stewart and Sabrina Ionescu, arguably the biggest Liberty stars, shot terribly in Sunday's Game 5 showdown. Stewart held to just 4 for 15 from the field, while Ionescu shot just 1 for 19. But someone who was undeniably getting shots off was Minnesota head coach Cheryl Reeve. In the post-game press conference, she went off, saying, and I can't say it all on TV, this blank was stolen from us. It comes after New York outshot the Lynx 25-8 to from the free throw line in Game 5. And Minnesota fans were up in arms about a very controversial shooting foul at the end of regulation that gave New York the opportunity to tie the game and send it into overtime. Both teams were vocally upset about the officiating throughout the entire series. But now that the season is over, what a transformative few months it was for the WNBA. Ratings on ESPN's platforms during the regular season were up 170%. There were 27 games before playoffs with 1 million or more viewers, and that is double the previous best. Attendance was up 48%, there were 154 sellouts, and merch sales were up 600%. And there's a lot of reasons why. You've got a stacked rookie class with stars like Angel Reese, Camila Cardozo, and Cameron Brink. You've got Asia Wilson doing things we've never seen before, like scoring 1,000 points in a single season. And at the top of it all, you've got Caitlin Clark. She's packing arenas, even on the road, selling out her merch and inspiring a new generation of fans all across the world. But you know what? It's not all sunshine and rainbows. There is a new fight for higher pay in the league. Yesterday, the players' union opting out of its collective bargaining agreement early to demand better wages and training facilities. Stars like Clark and Reese only make about $70,000 in a season. But the highest earning WNBA player only makes about 2% of this year's NBA number one draft pick. The players and league will have to sort out a new contract by the end of next season or they risk a lockout that stops play. Now we turn to some awards. On Sunday, 13 people were enshrined in the 2024 class of the Naismith Memorial Basketball Hall of Fame. And of those, only two are women. First up, Michelle Timms. Her five-year career in the WNBA was all with Phoenix. In fact, her jersey, number seven, was the first Mercury jersey to ever be retired. Michelle is also a three-time Olympic medalist representing Australia. The other honoree was Simone Augustus. During her time at LSU, she won a host of awards, including two AP Player of the Year awards and two Naismith awards. She was the number one pick in the 2006 draft and went to the Minnesota Lynx, where she was Rookie of the Year. By the end of her 15-year career, she was a four-time champion, a finals MVP, and a three-time Olympic gold medalist. And speaking of awards, we only have one local lady on this week's Midwestern Technical Institute score standout list. Isabella Kramer, the 6'3 junior from Pleasant Valley, had one heck of a night. She got 14 kills, 7 digs, and an ace, making her one of this week's nominees. Of course, you can vote for this week's score standout nominees by visiting WQAD.com. The poll will be on the sports page and the score page, and you have until tomorrow at noon to cast your vote. Each week's winner is featured on Off the Cuff. And finally, we turn to soccer. KC Current star Temwa Shawinga officially broke a record this weekend by scoring her 20th goal of the season. That's not only the single season scoring record, but it makes her the first player in NWSL history to score against all 13 opposing teams in one season. And the best part is, this is only her first season in the league. And we still have more of the season left before playoffs. But that'll do it for this week's Women in Sports.